Hey, hey guys, how you doing? This is Dave with Seeking Gains. I hope you are all having a wonderful week so far on this Wednesday. And what I'm trying to do here, this is all new to me, so bear with me as I, uh, I work out the bugs as I, I do this video series. Um, this will be what I'm, I'm thinking of calling it just the midweek market update for ETFs. You know, I see a lot of channels doing stocks and there's a couple channels that do maybe like the QQQ. And so I thought, well, why don't we focus on just ETFs? Uh, and uh, we'll show the markets down here first as you're, as you're looking at the markets. It might change a little bit because the uh, gold and silver was still changing a little bit when I did this, so and why I'm filming this, so you may, it may be slightly different. Uh, but uh, first off, I am not a financial advisor, so please do your own research. When you're watching this, you're going to see stuff that I own. It does not mean I want you to go out and buy it. You may hate some of the stuff that I own, and that's fine too. Um, you know, everybody's circumstances are different. So, And lastly... We usually bring Dave in, uh, but we're not gonna bring Dave in today. I'm trying to get this out tonight, so it's not too late by the time I get it out. What? Sorry, Dave. <laughs> he always gets upset with me. Anyway, so yeah, you can see the markets below. Uh, I guess the big news real quick is, and it's not an ETF, but uh, everybody should know by now, <laughs> Netflix, wow. What, what a, wow. I don't even know what to say, it's just that bad. Okay, so when I jump into this, this is a very basic spreadsheet. I'm learning. I'm not a spreadsheet guru by no means, but I've been spending a lot of time over the last couple of weeks learning how to build these so they automatically update and do all the things you want them to do. So I still have to add in more and more information uh, and I'll add in more ETFs as I go along so that we can see them in a, in a, in a, all in one spot and see how they performed. So here we go. And I don't know if this will block me out or I'll be below right down here. Uh, so. Here we go. We got that. What's in purple is what I own again. Like I said, and you can see my uh, my share count, and you can see my portfolio allocation. And actually, these are broken into different portfolios. For you guys, this is not my. These are not the only things I own. I own mutual funds and stocks as well. So you know, don't uh, don't think this is my whole portfolio. Again, this and I don't know if I said it already, but this is not to show off. This is to inspire. There's going to be people that have way bigger you know, portfolios than me, and there's going to be people that have less, okay? So it's just to show you what you can do over a few years and, and, and just adding money, and you can see how much it pays me. And I put the dividends in there so you can see the total amount at the end there, annual revenue, uh, return, so you guys can see that, especially ones that are you guys that are new. All right, so let me stop rambling and get I'm getting off track here. But let's look. You got Here's the ETFs I have so far. And... Um, it will start with year to date, and I usually highlight uh, who does the best and the worst uh, year to date, but I just haven't had the time to do it because I've been building these and wanted to try to get this out this Wednesday, so bear with me with like growing pains, like I said. But from what I can see real quickly, it looks like DHS has done the best year to date with a 10.48%, and looks like if I'm grabbing the right one, RDVY has performed the worst so far with a negative 5.16. Now, today's change, it looks like everything was positive today. I don't see any negatives. So the best performer of today, well, it looks like we may have, uh, let's see, it looks like it was DVY, if I got that right. Bear with me, like I said. Nope, I am I'm, I'm, I'm wrong. It's SPHD with a 1.15. So there you go. And then let's see, let's see who, did, who did the worst today. Uh, this is where I have to do this before a uh, before video, guys. I, I have to apologize. But it looks like um, SCHV did the worst with a 0.72. Nope, all the way down there at the bottom of VYMI with a negative, I mean, not negative, positive 0.63. Okay, that's, and so now that down in the end, like I said there, you can see how much I have. I have $24,594.02 uh, invested in the ones that are in purple. So it's Degro, SCHD, I have SCHD in two different portfolios. I have one in the competition that I do every Saturday, uh, which is the uh, the lower amount, 18 uh, plus shares. And then in uh, another account, I have 206 uh, shares of SCHD. Okay, um, and then we have uh, SV, C, SCHV. I only own four shares of that. Um, VIG, VTV, I think I own 14 shares. Yeah, 14, and then VYM is part of the uh, competition. So again, down there, it's uh, $24,594.02, and, and you can see that pays me $660.46 a year. So growth ETFs, guys, here we go. We got QQQ, SCHG, IUSG, IVWIWF, 
J-M-O-M-M-G-K-S-P-G-P-S-P-Y-G and V-U-G and this will grow. Uh, like I said, I, this is just to get it started. Uh, and again, you see in purple uh, what I own there. Uh, QQ and S QQQ and SCHG. Uh, I own 145. Well, now today, actually, I bought another share of uh, SCHG, so it's actually 146. But I haven't updated this yet, so it's 145. 145 shares. QQQ. I own 15. Now I started. A lot of people. Say, well, that's overlap. I started uh, investing in SCHG first. I've been investing in that one for a little while, and then I switched over to QQQ, and that's why I have two of those. Uh, 15 shares of QQQ, but you can see right now I'm at $15,384.15, which only pays me $66.55. You know, the growth ETFs don't pay much as far as dividends. But anyway, so let's take a look at worst performer. Best, let's go best performer of the year so far. And what's jumping out at me is the SPGP at a negative 5.18%. And the worst performer is jumping out at me as VUG. Uh, Vanguard's negative uh, 14.96. As I said, bear with me if I'm wrong. I'll start highlighting these in an upcoming videos, so I won't have to actually try to read for, it, <laughs> try to find it while I'm doing this as, as I'm recording this. Okay, so there you go, guys. Uh, the best best performer of the day. Let's see. Uh, it looks like it was J M O M with a positive 39 cents. I mean 39 percent. And then the worst performer, well, let's see, would have to be today QQQ at a negative 1.46%. So there you go. And then you can see the last 30, 365 days, so they're all in the green. All right. Let's move on. We did dividends. We did growth. Let's do covered calls. And then you can see that my one video I do on Sundays is a covered call video, and that's a comparison. It's like a competition, and that's the six that I that I that I own at this time. And you can see I have two thousand four hundred fifty nine dollars and fifty three cents invested in that, and it's paying me two hundred forty seven dollars and forty nine cents a year. Okay, so we have a whole bunch of these. Some of these you'll know. Some honestly, I'm going to be honest with you. Some of these I de I really don't know much about at all. Uh, so I got to do some research myself, but these are all levered. I mean uh, covered call ETFs And let's see who was the best performer year to date and it looks like King is uh, KNG is not updating for some reason So I'm gonna have to let that one go. I don't know why that's not updating I'll have to maybe my code is wrong or something. I'll have to check in today <laughs> So worst performer of the year so far from what ETFs I have would be, I gotta scroll across, would be PNP at a negative 20.55%. The best performer would be USOI, because that's just standing right out at 25.46%. And today, the best performer for today, I'm all looking guys, it looks like it might be Divo, but give me a second, I'm scrolling, scrolling. I'm thinking it's Divo with a positive 1.06%. And the worst performer today, and it looks like it's sticking out to me here, is QYLG at a negative, is that right? Q, oh, QTJL at a negative 1.96%. I'm going to have to make this bigger so I'm not struggling as much. Let me put my glasses on too. It might help me some. You know what I mean, guys? <laughs> so, all right. Lastly. Now, if you ever, if you, let me let you, if you ever need to see these charts um, bigger, um, I'm going to put all this on my uh, Patreon page uh, so you guys can pull these up and see them and it'll be frozen or just JPEGs of this. Uh, but it give me a minute, give me a little bit because once I, I got to get the video out first so that I can put it up on, uh, onto my Patreon page. Okay, lastly, leverage ETFs. And this is something that I know very little about. And I got to I got notice I got to fix that TECL. I don't know if that's even supposed to be in there because it doesn't show anything on that one, but I'll have to look in that and figure out what happened there. Uh, but I thought it'd be interesting because some people are, are into these leveraged ETFs. Uh, so the best performer year to date, let's see, who is it? It looks like it is going to be LABU with a 35, let me see, make sure I got that right. Yeah, 35 point, no, that's the one above it. J, Gush, I guess is how you pronounce it, G-U-S-H, 
at 121.25% per, uh, for the year. The worst performer of the year, let's see, uh, would be, it looks like it would be FNGU at a negative 6160 for the year. And let's go to the best and worst performer of the last day. And at that same one at FNGU, it looks like it is the worst performer at negative 13.31%. The best performer, let me see, is so far I'm looking at, uh, let's see, TPOR looks like 5.36. Is there one that's better than that? 5.36. That's, I think that's the correct one. So if I made any mistakes, I apologize. And as you can see rare at the very bottom, that's the grand totals of all those portfolios or the, the, the uh, ETFs that I have. Uh, so it's $42,440.70, which is paying me $974.50. Again, that is no, no means to show off. I'm just trying to show you guys, you know, with $42,000 invested, I'm getting nine, almost $1,000 a year. Now, a lot of it is in growth. And, uh, and growth doesn't pay much in dividends. So um, at my age, you know, it's a little risky, I guess, doing growth, but I like doing growth. I, I'm, I'm looking far, I'm looking 10 years down the road. The, those ETFs will definitely be worth more than they are today. I think we're gonna, we're headed for a little bit of a, a rough time, but I think uh, down the road, long-term, we're gonna be good to go. So next week, hopefully, if you guys like this, again, let me know. You have to let me know, because I don't wanna do this if you you know, if you know guys ain't enjoying this. Uh, I'll hopefully have some another couple more categories in here. Maybe I'd like to get into REITs, uh, REIT ETFs, and, and so on and so forth. So it's gonna take me a little time. Like I said, bear with me. Again, if you like the video, guys, I know it's a little rough. It's, um, I've got cobwebs and, and bugs to work out, so uh, <laughs> I'll get better with this. Give me a thumbs up, and uh, I guess I will see you guys, well, this weekend and or next week. Thanks so much for joining me, guys. Appreciate you all. Thank you.